Good evening. When I was at school in Brazil, I was never one of those very popular students that everyone knows about and who attract people during break times. But I graduated and kept studying until I started my PhD. And then I was faced with the challenge to choose a marine animal to study. Whales, turtles, fish, mussels, none of those popular ones. I ended up choosing something that is more or less anonymous like ours, chitons. For those of you thinking that these are limpets, I tell you, they are not. They kind of look similar, but chitons have eight small shells that overlap, allowing them to roll up as an armadillo, an excellent defense for something that spends the whole life attached to a rock. I know, so many exciting animals to work with, and so many endangered ones. Why chitons? Well, have you ever discovered something really amazing? That happened to me. My very first result suggests that New Zealand has two groups of chitons, and they happen to live at different places. One lives at the North Island, and the other lives at the South Island and the Subantarctic Islands all together. I wonder if this has something to do with traveling. Did you know that North Island chitons do not travel? But the Southern chitons are very brave adventurers. They attach to the base of giant seaweed and travel very, very far, migrating between New Zealand's South Island and the Subantarctic Islands. At this point, you may already know why I wasn't a popular student, right? <laughs> Such a weird choice. But these chitons are finally doing something about that. They are giving a very cool perspective to my work. Or should I say hot? Never mind, I'm talking climate change. That is such a popular topic. So using very recent molecular technologies and a couple of not so recent as well, I want to check how much temperature matters for chitons. I will ask northern chitons why they do not leave home. Is that because the South Island is colder? And why are southern chitons do not come up to the north? Is that because there's no transport available? or because it's too warm for their taste. And I hope that the answers will help me with popularity. I mean, will help us understand more about how temperature influences <laughs> both unpopular and popular animals, and also their potential to adapt to changing climate conditions. Thank you.